good evening. Um, I hope you don't mind I'm keeping on my jacket because temperature is more like Germany. <laughs> <laughs> but did you guys just notice the light, the, the California sunset? Uh, that's why designers absolutely love this place and what a stunning view and what an honor and a privilege to be showing you this car here in this sitting. So the story of the A8 has to start maybe a little bit sooner and it was actually the prologue concept that introduced to the public uh, the new design language uh, of this car that we see now uh, taken into production. So when Mark Lichter came to the company uh, several years ago there was this let's call it famous meeting uh, where he got the whole design team together and said okay this is what I want to do and the prologue was the first public showcase of this philosophy. Um, and I would like to take you through the talking points basically. I wanted to talk a little bit about this slide because it shows over four generations what kind of happened with the face of the car. So we went from this very simple and sleek horizontal theme to the iconic single frame grille which has been instrumental I think to the success uh, of the car. Next was more uh, iteration of this uh, single frame theme and now we come to the new uh, design theme. So what did we do? So in the front of the car you see we have this much wider and flatter grill. There's much more space uh, taken up front. Then there is this finely uh, drawn LED matrix headlights which give the car its confident face. Then I wanted to talk a little bit about the profile of the car. So actually what you see here is a long wheelbase car which is 30 centimeters more than a normal wheelbase car we get in some other markets. And what sometimes happens with a long wheelbase car, it maybe tends to look a little bit like a stretch limousine because there's a sort of flat section in the middle. So that's actually why we tried, no, that's actually not tried. <laughs> <laughs> actually, we started with the long wheelbase and uh, we put a lot of care in making this beautiful arc in the roof and having this fast angle in the back so that it looks perfect in both long wheelbase and short wheelbase. Then, second line I want to talk about is this one here at the top of the shoulder line. I can put my finger on it and I can walk around the car and then I come back to the same position. So all the lines were designed that they flow around the car. This speaks to the elegance of this beautiful machine. The next theme, of course, is the lower part of the shoulder line. In all of our, all the Audis, the shoulder line was a single piece. Now, for the first time, here this section in the middle has been lowered between the fenders, and this makes room for what we call in Engelstadt the Quattro Blisters. These are the muscles that show up here and on the back, and they actually show the uh, standard Quattro uh, all-wheel drive system. This was one of the themes that Mark said on day one. He said, guys, Audi is Quattro and we have to show it. And this is now the first iteration on this car and you will see it soon on all the other cars we are designing. Then we get to the rear and I personally actually like this three-quarter view very much. Um, the rear is dominated with the horizontal theme. It gives this car its powerful stance. And the absolute highlight, of course, is the animated OLED tail light band that goes along the full width of the car. And please, if you get the car and uh, have it some standing somewhere around, look at the, at the startup and the shutdown animation because it is a very powerful uh, thing to see, I think. So that's what goes on on the outside. What happens on the inside? And I'm going to use this simple sketch to show you 
sort of the main themes that we used. First, highlighted in red, is the new wrap, the new wrap around. Uh, you'll notice that in the previous generation, in what we call the D4, there was this fine piece of wood, maybe a centimeter uh, thick, that went around the windshield. Now we have taken it up a big step. So we actually brought it up uh, further toward the driver, and it is a big, si a big piece of wood, actually. <laughs> it sort of greets you like open arms, and it also sets the stage for the revolutionary new uh, MMI system that is incorporated in between. So these surfaces are the black panel surfaces, and they seamlessly integrate the two displays uh, we have for the upper and the lower MMI screen. Then I wanted to talk a little bit about the section, and designers are crazy about the section, you know, this is something we work on a lot, and this sort of makes the car come alive and adds drama to the interior, but actually it has a function as well. So upper level is the wraparound with the wood and also the integrated vents. Then second, first piece of uh, the first monitor and uh, the, um, the black panel. Then second level below is the control center and the, and the second screen, basically. Then I wanted to highlight some of the artwork that was did by the team. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, this is how we, how we thought about our design. You know, there is no gap between the door and the dashboard. They are designed to be one, so it is one line. And this is something we took care, great care uh, to keep this feeling actually in the production car. Next is the central command center, let's call it, uh, where you control most of the functions of the car. We got rid, of, got rid of over 30 buttons in the car and achieved this clean design. What was left was basically what we needed to have uh, out of regulation. If it was up to us, we would have maybe thrown out everything and just keep the, keep the black panel absolutely clean. What you also need, of course, is the gear selector. So we have this yard, we call it the yard lever, and this is not only for selecting gear, but it's also the perfectly on a perfect position to put down your hand. You just have to like lightly fall your hand down and then point your finger and you can control the lower screen. All on perfect position. So overview and of course everybody has seen the interior now for the first time. And I've wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the design values. And uh, these are not just some marketing words that we, that we use for this beautiful presentation. On day one, we start to, uh, start to work with the, these words to guide us and to help us, help us along the way and to describe the design. So what does prestige mean? So prestige is basically everything. This is not only the materials, this is not only the fit and finish, this is not only going down to three tenths of a millimeter uh, of a gap uh, for fitting the parts into the car. This is, um, it's the sum of all parts, basically. Integration, so in cleaning up the design, we wanted to go a step further, so not only throwing out random buttons, but like here in the gear shifter, it's this small island which has the gear knob in it, but it has auto hold and a parking brake. And this is enclosed in one single unit, because this is basically the stop and go functions of the car, so they belong together. That's why we put them together. Or in the black panel on your uh, top right hand corner, you see this little slider that we use uh, to control the airflow of the of the air vent. It's now in the black panel, so it's a little bit further towards you, so you can, so you can easily reach it. But it was an opportunity to use the black panel and to use this flash optic to have a perfect integration. Next up, craftsmanship. 
So <laughs> we are we are Audi is known for making nice interiors. So when you get to do the flagship car of the company, uh, we had to do had to take great care. So what goes into this? There are many details and many uh, many areas I can point you to. But for instance, if you look at the roof console, if you're driving around tomorrow, and it's maybe something that the customer will not notice at the first day, maybe not even after six months, but at one point he will notice this. There's this little, there's this pattern of the holes uh, that are perforated into the metal. And somebody sat down for four days straight and positioned these holes by hand uh, to have the perfect fit inside the contour of this roof console. Uh, same with the stitching and the laser etching on the, on the seats. If you get into the car, please take a look at how the pattern uh, on the seats works. This is something that is made bespoke for us and it is a very unique piece actually. But craftsmanship is not only hardware. We have moved into a new digital world. So we have a whole team of people working on the graphical user interface, which is a big part of the experience in this car. So every screen you see uh, was designed and designed to fit together and work together and uh, to blend perfectly into this room. And there were many hundreds of screens that had to be done basically by hand because you cannot automate this, uh, automate this stuff. Then, and Dr. Bobinet already talked a little bit about this, this sense of ceremony. You know that when the, in the previous car we had this central screen, the central MMI screen, coming out of the dashboard greening you upon startup. And it was funny because when we started working out on the, on the car, we had this research meeting and some, uh, some customer research and they were at people's homes. So it was previous customers of, of S-Class and 7, 7 Series and A8. And they were standing in the kitchen and they were talking about being fascinated that they had this drawer that had this soft close system. So you could let go of the drawer and the, and the drawer would close itself. So why is this why is this so special? You would ask. I mean you could just close it close the thing and be done with it. But I think it's this this soft movement and and maybe the sense of surprise that goes into it that was instrumental. So how did we uh, interpret this? I think the central piece is actually the, the opening up of the air vent. So you've maybe seen it before, but here it is actually a dual action. So it's not only the wood that is uh, slowly turning away, but it's the air vents that's coming out of the car maybe and sort of reaching towards you and saying, here's the clean air, here's the fresh air, and I'm going to take care of you. Ceremony is all also about the lighting and about the atmosphere that we are able to create uh, in this interior. And here you see the executive rear seat package where there is this integrate, integrate uh, ceremony basically designed where we move the front seat forward and s slide your seat down where, we, where you can truly have this first class uh, driving feeling basically. So all this put to, all this together uh, came together to create this stunning luxury car and I hope that you like it and I hope that you can enjoy it in this beautiful location and I would like to say thank you and if you have any questions I'm here to answer them for you. Thank you very much. Thank you Daniel. Thank you. So uh